Hey everyone, this is Lucky7DX. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Rangers Shadows of Almia. In the last episode, we went to Puel Town and uh, we discovered that the Team Dins... Team Dinson? Yes, I can talk well. Team Dimson is behind all of these happenings with their Giga Remo machines. So many, so many tough names, but um... In this episode, we're gonna see, well, we're just gonna see where the plot takes us from here. We have a villain, or at least a team of villains. And, uh, well, we got some ranger work to do. Let's go ahead and rest up a bit, though, and progress the next day. So, um, today, well, actually, this episode's gonna be somewhat of a bit of a lull. It's a bit of a calm before the storm, as a matter of fact. Um, well, calm before one of the storms. It's a Pokemon Ranger game. There are many storms! And sometimes they're quite literal, like the rain dance. Anyway, so, uh, we've dismantled the Gigarama. G no, Gigarimo. You're getting closer, you're trying, you're trying. Anyway, so Big Bertha's here, some milk pudding, he's gonna go ahead and, uh, feed everyone some milk. Cause that's a sustainable part of a balanced breakfast, apparently. Including Ollie! Ollie, who hasn't said anything, we're trying to still be mean to Ollie cause he's just kinda being a jerk, but Big Bertha's not gonna have any bit of that. Yeah, he's suspicious, but you know what? We're gonna go ahead- I like how everyone just calls him Ollie. You know, he probably has an actual name. It could be George! It could be Richard! It could be Francesco! Who knows? But it's probably not Ollie, except for the fact that it's gonna end up being Ollie. We have the power to change people's names, but by the power of milk, he decides to be nice and, uh, and, and talk. So... That fire was... Go on. It's all his fault, yeah. Um, he was- he spilled the fuel and it's like, Hey, he knows what Gigarimos are, though! And, well, actually, I guess it's because he's watched this dismantle one. But he didn't really know Team Dim Sum, but apparently they hired him for some easy money, so... He was sort of a victim. I mean, he's still a criminal by that. I mean, I think I think laws would still call him a criminal, but apparently we're gonna let him off because of that. So, uh, due to the power of milk, he confesses! And, uh, yeah, like I said, we're just gonna go ahead and let him go! Because, you know, that makes sense. Let, let a criminal go just because he confessed. That's not how it works! Screw you! Oh. Yeah, we unfortunately can't, uh, do that. Luana can't do it by herself! Oh, oh, silly. So, uh, they all they all have stuff to do. Okay, fine, I'll go and tie him. Jeez! <sighs> oh, memories of his mother, huh? Interesting. Interesting! So, we're gonna tie the rope, because, uh... Luana, like she said, can't do it by herself, apparently. But neither can we, apparently, because it's bound to smidgen on the tight side. Like, everything on the, everything is bound to smidgen on the tight side in Ranger games. It's kind of the running gag. I kind of enjoy that running gag. It's kind of funny. So, uh, unfortunately, how tight have we tied this guy's rope? He's probably, like, if half his body has probably had the airflow cut off and, like, permanently hurt. He can't tie someone. Like, it's been, like, two days since we've tied him up here. It's been kind of silly. So, but luckily, uh, Elaine can dismantle everything, including a rope, which is not the hardest thing to dismantle in the world, to be fair. So, break time's over, milk pudding's good, Ollie's free to go, we're just gonna let him go, because that's what Rangers, I mean, we're not really police officers, we're just Rangers, we only really give a shit about Pokemon anyway, and people who are jerks to Pokemon. If you just kinda set things on fire, you're an arsonist, unintentionally. Whatever. So we gotta go on patrol. Ollie's, Ollie's ready to reform, I mean, he's trying to reform, so it's all good to go. I mean, we knew he was involved in the machine somehow. He reeked of oil! Oh, you kind of said the same thing as before. Hi! Go away! Thank you. So, anyway... Okay, fine. I'll go on patrol. Fine. Oh, I guess I'm not gonna go on patrol, because I actually have a new newspaper article about, uh, our heroic antics! Team Dim Sun, they're all blurred out. Strange machines. Pokemon Rebellion! Well, we did- we did say- we did stop it, though, so hey, we made the news. Go us! Anyway, let's, uh, let's head on patrol. Because that's our episode today, is uh, gonna be some patrol, a bit more side questy stuff as well. But we also have a bit of a, of a short little thing with Ollie, actually, because uh, now he's kind of confessed. His ma- uh, Friend! Yeah, we never know what that word is. That word can't possibly be- Not gonna spoil. Not gonna spoil. Not gonna spoil game. You have you think you make me spoil? You can't make me spoil. So he's embarrassed to go alone, though, so we're gonna head to Chicola Village on our patrol and, uh, go help out. Ali visit a quote unquote friend. Yes, yes, clearly. How are you doing, citizens of Vien Town? Are you doing good today? Or are you doing well? We're doing good because we're rangers. We do good. You guys do well. Get your grammar straight, sir. Well, actually, I was the one who said it in the first place. So get my grammar straight, me. 
it sounds a little bit weirder when I say it like that. Anyways, we're gonna head to Chipotle Village. Chipotle. Chipotle. We're gonna call it Chipotle Village, because Chipotle is delicious. And it makes me amused to call it that. So we head here to Chipotle Village. Um, and a hat ghost has appeared at Parter Farm. Oh man, a hat ghost. Surely this is true, and not just some sort of confusion. Oh, by the way, I haven't mentioned this yet. I caught a bee drill in between episodes. We're going to need it later for a quest. That's why I have it with me. So that's why the that's where the bee drill came from. Sup, kid? Yeah, you probably said that a long time ago. Well, let's go help out. Really? Oh well, you're you're in no big hurry, are you? All right, let's go deal with the hat ghost. It's over on Partner Farm, because you know Partner Farm, because you know Pokemon Partners, because you know foreshadowing. Anyway. Um, there is a hat ghost. Oh my god. Guys! Ghosts are real. It's the Boxger Hat Ghost! Danny Phantom reference. Anyway. Yeah. I. Sure. Well, I can catch ghost type Pokemon. That counts, right? Let's do it! But it's not actually a ghost. Of course it's not a ghost. It's a Cricketot! So, uh, we have a Cricketot to fight. Fun times. Not very hard capture. Well, it's actually kind of lengthy capture, though. It does have a lot of HP. For something so tiny. And it does jump around a lot and watch out for the music. Oh, I think I lost my line there. That was so close to one light capture. That would have been S rank capture. But I did, I, I let go a little smidgen too early there, I think. Yeah, I didn't quite let go. Oh well, it's an A rank. Whatever. So we got ourselves a Kregatot. Okay, new Pokemon. That's exciting. But, um... Yeah, you totally didn't think it was a ghost, Dad. Yeah, I got your back, Dad. Yeah. Anyway, it seems to like us, and in fact, this is where uh, having multiple partner Pokemon gets introduced. On Partner Farm. Gee, what a coinky dink. Uh, so we get a new partner Pokemon, Krigatot. So, um, as you know, you switch out partner Pokemon, you get to use their abilities. So while we could use, we can have, um, rechargeable electric abilities with Pachirisu, we can now have rechargeable bug abilities with Krigatot. So that's kind of how it works. Um, we can only have one partner Pokemon with us at a time, the travel, but as long as I have a safe place to stay and a trusted person to take care of it, hmm, I wonder where and who that will be, uh, we can have multiple partner Pokemon. So something a bit new and different from the first game is the whole multiple partner Pokemon thing. So, as you can imagine, Partner Farm ends up becoming a place for, you know, us to have our, our partners. So, yay for Partner Farm! Uh, we can go here anytime to get our new things back. It's important. So whenever we want to switch partner Pokemon, we'll come here. Of course, usually uh, when you get a new partner Pokemon, you're able to switch it out immediately. And for the purpose of this Let's Play and showing everything off, as soon as I get a new partner, I'm probably going to switch it out, it out um, the old one for the new one. So we're probably not going to use Pachirisu for the rest of the game, actually, unfortunately. So that starter Pokemon decision at the beginning, so important. Crickle, crickle, crickle. So um, just just for the sake, just you know, for the sake of using all the partners a little bit. Um, I'll probably be switching it out just just to show all of them off because you get a lot of partners, one for every single type in the game actually. So that's what seventeen. There's seventeen types. Yeah, seventeen types. That sounds right. So Crooked Hat's a little nervous. We'll switch him out later. Uh, first, we have to help Ollie with his quest. Actually, you gonna say anything, Ollie? Yeah, we can do it. Let's go. So we head over here into this room. This is uh, this is the one you go to, and uh, oh, would you know? M O stood for Mom. Mysteries of the world. So, uh, Ollie, he left home, he's so awkward, he is, he, he's a little depressing, Ollie. Ollie, have some self-confidence. Ollie, there we go. Such a, that's actually a kind of touching moment. He, he returns to home, he's shed his criminal ways, and him and his parents, or him and his mother at least, sort of make up some family drama, I guess. But he's home, and all is well. So, uh, doll. Daw! Daw! Oh, the daw of this game. Yeah, yeah, I think we could, I think we could figure that out, Ollie. So, uh, I mean, I think he was embarrassed, and so it's understandable. So, uh, we, we brought him a wonderful partner to study him. Hmm! Could there be more of Ollie in the future? Who knows? Anyway, that's it for the Ollie, the, the Ollie plot right now. Let's go get our cricket tot! Oh, hello. Hello, little sis. Her parents didn't really have a very, uh, they're, they're a little lazy naming you if your name's little sis. Anyway, Krikatot's ready to go, so let's go ahead and exchange partners for the first time. It's kind of a bit exciting. So we head down here, back to Partner Farm, which now has an actual meaning for its purpose other than, it's because mom and dad are such good partners. <laughs> I'm sure I remember her. Uh, so, no, dad, dad, you're pretty awesome. You 
kind of just sit there and guard all my Pokemon. It's, it's pretty awesome, really. And just like that, we now have Krikatot as our partner Pokemon. Instead of Pachirisu, we want Pachirisu back. We could uh, head over here and be like, Pachirisu, come back! But no, not today. We're gonna we're gonna rock a bug for a bit. We're gonna go go all bug up in here. Let's go visit our parents. We haven't been there in a while. But that's really all I have to do for the patrol. I feel like the main quest part is just the introduction to this. Um, but that being said, we now have two side quests to do. One over here in Vienna's forest with a Kranidos. Hmm. And one with Webster, the sign guy. Um, which is why I have a Beedrill, because we're going to need it for one of these quests, and that'll save me some time having to get a Beedrill or a Nose Pass or a Graveler. All three of which would be a bit out of the way, so that's why I grabbed a Beedrill in between episodes, so we won't have to make any unnecessary cuts and do all that shenanigans. I'll probably be doing that when I have the luxury of doing so, grabbing the Pokemon I'll need for quests or anything in the future, uh, before the episodes begin in between, because it just makes sense to do that. Anyway, our first quest is with Webster right here, so we'll take care of these two quests, and, uh... From there, we'll go ahead and end the episode after that, so... Bit of a, like I said, a calm, calm... Bit of a calming episode after the last couple of crazy ones. But, uh... Don't worry, the action will pick up again very soon. So, a sign... There's a rock sitting smack in the way of the sign. We'll go ahead and take care of it with, a uh, A quest. So, it's on the way uh, up from Nabiki Beach. Well, we already know where that is, so we'll head over that way, and... Take care of that. Fairly simple quest, all you really need is something to crush too. Hence why I got the bee drill again. So, uh, grab either a bee drill or Marine Cave does have the nose pass. It's the easiest one to get. You don't really want to go get a soak too in order to get Graveler. So, either grab a nose pass or grab a bee drill on the way back from Vien Town and, uh, go over here to this crush two rock. Bee, bee drill. Line! Go from bee drill to there. Thank you. I was having trouble grabbing the bee drill there for a bit. And, uh, crushes the rock. Easy peasy. And that takes care of that side quest. So, another really simple side quest. They'll get more intricate later, but for now they're gonna be fairly simple. So, uh, he already has a new sign. What a professional! And with that, easy quest complete. Man, looking at the time, bro, this is gonna be a shorter video than I thought. Eh, whatever. I'm perfectly fine with a actually decent length of video for once. So, uh, the style is receiving mail, confirmation that we've completed a quest, um, we'll go ahead and get the power-up data, and what we end up getting is, I believe, uh, Dark Defense, which is weird because we haven't encountered a Dark Pokemon yet, we don't even have the ability to do Dark Assist yet, but for some reason, we still get Dark Defense, so it cuts damage from our Dark Attack by 3, just means that whenever we're ready, we actually start encountering Dark-type Pokemon, we, uh, we won't take as much damage from it, so, the new sign is in place. Let's uh, head to the second quest, which was in um, the Vienna Forest. It's actually right at the beginning of it, though, and it's not... Um, the quest doesn't take us too far into the Vienna for for The Vienna Forest. Words. Words, words, words. Words, words. Um, so yeah, we'll go quickly take care of this, and uh, more side quests will have been complete. It's just always a good time. Uh, and then, yeah, next episode, like I said, the plot will come back in full force, and we'll have another exciting mission to go on. This is just kind of intro to partner Pokemon to give you a little bit of a little in the action to explain that. And, well, you'll see in a little bit, actually. So, my crisis is a little bit extreme, sir, but a Kratos is being chased by a War Turtle. Um, they're scrapping over their territories. We're gonna have to go break up this fight and rescue the Kratos. I mean, it is a Rock type versus a War type. I'm, sh I'm pr pretty sure the Rock type's not gonna be having a good time. So, we accept the quest. Let's go take care of it. Alonzi! So, uh, the only, where you need to go to encounter the Kratos and the Wartel is actually pretty close by. You just head over up around this area, and uh, where you found one of the happenings earlier, that's where you'll find the Kratos and the War Turtle. The War Turtle's bullying the poor Kratos, it looks pretty stressed out. But, uh, the two of them actually end up charging right at us, and we have to kill, uh, to kill? Wow, that's violent. We have to catch both of them at the same time. Well, not at the same time, but, you know, simultaneously. Watch out for the water. Try to get these all in one loop. Don't hurt me. Thank you. Wow! I totally S-ranked that. Totally S-ranked that. That was some pretty professional circling, if I do say this myself. So whenever you catch a Pokemon, by the way, that doesn't have a feel move, that's when you should start being like, oh! Well, generally when a quest actually mentions a Pokemon like this, um, you can you can rest assured that something, a certain something's gonna happen. Um, we'll, we'll get into the details as, as it, well, we'll see it right now, actually. 
So, uh, they weren't- No! Th does that look like fun to you? That guy was clearly suffering, sir! Poor Kranidos. It's okay. It's okay, I got you, man! And, uh, so yeah, whenever you rescue, uh, sometimes when you do a complete quest, especially when they involve a specific Pokémon, they will, uh, end up being your- Well, you get a little cutscene like this. But they'll end up being your new partner Pokémon! So, uh, quests are the other way you get the, um, basically Pachirisu or, you know, Milt- or Miltanka. Pachirisu, Munchlax, or Starly you'll get at the beginning. Uh, you have to get Cricket Top, but then every other partner Pokémon you'll get by doing quests. So, uh, we now have Kranos as a partner Pokémon, while well, Rock is a lot better than Bug, so... We're gonna be rocking a Kranos as our partner from now on, that's super exciting. So, uh, Cricket Top will be back on the farm, and as you can see when you complete this, you can immediately take them as your partner Pokémon. And we now have a Rock-type partner Pokémon. So there we go! Two new partners this episode. Um, and as we complete more quests throughout the game, we'll be getting even more of them. Like I said, 17 in total, we'll get all of them at some point, even the ones we couldn't pick at the beginning. Or, that we didn't pick at the beginning. We'll eventually get those as well. So, uh, with that, I guess we're gonna call it a bit of an early episode, because... All that's left to do now is advance the plot. We have taken care of every single quest we can at the moment. We even have a new partner. Um, basically all the ones that say, like, uh, you don't have the titles before until after you beat them, but they'll be like, please save blank, and you'll generally get that as a partner Pokemon in the end, so... Um, well, not all of them, but most of them. So, let's head in here. No new cutscenes to have be had. Um, any new com- you, You've said this, like, three times today. You have anything new? So, yeah. We, uh, you know, it's basically just back to same old, same old. We've, uh... It's okay. It's okay. Well, probably do, but who knows. So actually, all at this point I have to do is talk to Barlow and uh, call it a day. But as you know, we'll, uh, we'll start the whole next day cycle in the next episode, guys. So, for now, this is Lucky7DX signing out. In the next episode, we progress to the next day. And we, uh, we see what the plot has in store for us then. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.